What is up guys, Milk here, and today we are back in action playing some Arkmon. It's gonna be freaking amazing. If you guys enjoy, make sure to go and click the like button. I'd really appreciate it. It helped me out tremendously. Uh, so welcome back to Arkmon, guys. Uh, we had last time tamed the Megapithica slash King Kong uh, boss, which isn't a boss in Anunnaki Genesis. He spawns in the wild, but he's very cool and he's very strong. Uh, so I don't think last time we actually checked uh, what his stats were when we logged in and out. I'm not sure we might have. Uh, but anyways, he has 77,000 health, uh, 7,000 stamina, and all this stuff that you see right here. Uh, we are going to... Is his thing... No, it's not increased. Okay, let's go ahead and do some melee damage and that kind of stuff. I noticed the bosses are kind of lacking, uh, which I feel like they kind of are um, in every... Maybe because the, the, the people that make the mods are like, yeah, they're kind of already open. I can't even see him. Holy crap, he like blends in right there. Um, is that okay? That's that's my Dodo Rex and that's my bird. Uh, so we have this guy over here. What I'm actually gonna do? Let me get off him. I'm gonna put him on passive, and we're going to try to tame this guy. Oh yeah, wait, 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 wait. Before I get my head ahead of myself, thank you guys very much for the comments and like last likes last time. As usual, I love your faces. Uh, the comments and stuff was a little lacking last time, but I don't judge you guys for that. I mean, I love you. I did uh, upload the video at like 3 a.m., so it wasn't the most optimal time to actually upload a video. So that's probably mostly my fault. I'm slowly rotating my sleeping schedule around, and um, it's I, I woke up at like 9 p.m. yesterday. I got screwed up because... We're, uh, I'm actually in the process of making a Gmod server with, uh, Juice and German because I think we're gonna start doing some Gmod videos again. We used to do Gmod videos way back in the day with, like, Afmal and Brocardo and, uh, just a bunch of other cool people. Uh, I think I did maybe some with some other people as well. So, uh, we used to do GTA as well, which I think we're gonna bring GTA back as well, too. I just said as well, like, 18 times. Um, so yeah, I've, I've been staying up <laughs> real late, like, working on that and just playing Gmod for fun and stuff like that. And just generally have having a good time. Also, I know I normally don't co conflict my series together. Like I don't talk about other series on a series uh, that's not the other series. Uh, but everyone's asking about my Feed the Beast Infinity. Now, everyone that's watching this, uh, there's probably not that many Feed the Beast Infinity people that's watching this right now. But if you are, my Feed the Beast Infinity world is broken. But, well, not the world, just my base. Uh, I've been having problems. I uh, I was really sad after I spent like 40 hours like building everything and, and ma doing all the stuff and then it broke and I spent several hours trying to fix it. I, I haven't actually touched it since then, since like the first day it broke. I haven't really had time, uh, but I plan on fixing it soon. The series isn't over. So yeah. Anyways, that is enough for that. Let's just go ahead and go in here. So we got a lot of name suggestions. I think what I'm going to do is, I think, I think it's pronounced Kojak. I think I'm going to do Kojak. Uh, apparently is the, the ape or gorilla from Tarzan. I don't actually remember uh, because that was a long time ago uh, when I watched like uh, the Tarzan um, cartoon movies and all that kind of stuff. That was I was like a child like in the 90s. Uh, so yeah, there we go. He is Kojak the gorilla, which is pretty awesome. I think it's Kojak. Tell me if I'm wrong. I'm sure you guys will. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and co come over here. And, uh, dude, the mountain is, like, bad for FPS. Uh, we have this guy. So, I think what I'm going to do is just let him hit me. And then I put him on passive, right? Yeah, I put him on passive. I think I'm going to let this guy hit me. And then we're just going to, uh, shoot. Yep, we're just going to shoot. Uh, and we're going to tame this guy. Hey, what's up, bro? Yep, you're, you're dead. You're totally, oh, oh. Uh, so he's coming after me. We want to let him get a little bit closer, right? Yeah, we want to let him get a little bit closer. We want to shoot him. Uh, he's going to go down eventually. Let's just go ahead and keep shooting him. He's he's just pooping. He's pooping consistently. That is good. It's very good when he poops. Just keep pooping, man. Okay, so we're running out of arrows, uh, which is fine. Uh, so this is a uh, we're out of arrows, guys. That batch of arrows. I'm oh and oh my god, I, that was so close. So I'm completely out of arrows now. So we're gonna have to resort to this. Uh, I my bird actually did have like a hundred and fifty of these tranquilizer darts on him. So uh, that's good. I, I don't know if there there's like two different types of tranquilizer darts because I can't actually combine these stacks. Okay, maybe I can. Uh, but I I don't think I can. Yeah, no, I can't combine these two. There's like two different types of darts. One is Anaki Genesis and one is like default. So I'm not sure. It's kind of weird. Um, anyways, uh, we got this guy, so let's come over here. Uh, we're going to use the golden treats. Now, the new Anunnaki Genesis update has not rolled out yet. 
So let's tame this guy. Yes, we have a badass Spinosaurus. It is a, a speedy one. Uh, what level are you, by the way? I never even checked your level. So you're level 396, which is good. I do not have a saddle for you. Uh, I think today we're going to maybe work on the base a little bit more. I think what I'm going to do with um, my um, Quetzal is actually tear down a lot of the stuff uh, that I built on him the past couple episodes because his platform is so big. Um because I didn't do the stilt thing, his platform is so big that it's obnoxious to actually ride around on him. And it makes it really unenjoyable. So I think what I'm going to do is probably take down the ceiling and all the walls and then just have like a wide platform kind of and maybe even make it less wide. Uh, because all we need to do is store two dinos on it, maybe three, and then have a couple uh, furnaces on there. So I'm going to be losing a little bit of the resources from the glass mod. Or the, yeah, the metal glass mod. But I, I'll be able to could just get back all my uh, ceilings and stuff that I used. Uh, because they you can pick those guys up. Anyways, uh, I'm going to head back to base. We are still on the mountain here. On the way back to base, I'm going to be looking around. And then after I take these guys out, I'm going to be looking around a little bit more. And maybe we'll find some cool stuff like a, a godling or some other things. I'm going to look around for a while. Um, love you guys. I really appreciate you watching the videos. And uh, I will see you here in a second. Okay, so figured I would update you guys. I just took the frog out for like 40 minutes, probably maybe an hour. And I got like 900 uh, chitin. Uh, actually, probably over 1,000 chitin. And probably like maybe 700... Uh, crap. What's this called? Yeah, cementing paste. So yeah, I got a lot of cementing paste. Uh, this should be enough, really, I think. Uh, to get most of the stuff done. Also, we've made a bunch of metal ceilings. We still need a lot more uh, metal. So I'm actually going to start disassembling the stuff on the Quets here soon. And uh, using the metal ceilings that we have on there. Because we really don't need walls or roof. I know it looks good, but it just kind of annoys me. Like, I don't even really want to fly it around when it's like this. So, yeah, I just wanted to briefly update you guys on what I've been doing and that kind of stuff. It's been a while. Um, so we're going to continue doing that. And then maybe... Uh, here pretty soon go out and uh, maybe try to find some cool new dinos. I don't know. Okay guys are back So I have been doing some stuff I figured we would save some of our metal because I want to make this mini thing right here. Yeah, this is mini industrial forge Boom there we go. So it takes a lot of stuff uh, 625 metal ingot, 60 crystal, 150 cementing paste, 100 oil, and 100 uh, polymer. Also, I've logged in and out, so that means uh, we can actually see what the stats of our uh, thing is, our guy over there. Let's go ahead and come over here. I'm going to stick all the stuff that I have extra just like right here. Uh, let's just go ahead and throw this stuff in here. Uh, and I have some gasoline just for the mini industrial forge, and I've also removed a lot of the stuff from the quets here. Um, it's mostly done. I think I might keep the bottom layer of glass kind of the way it is just because it's kind of cool as like a barrier or whatever i was going to stick up a fence which i might still do that but i don't know i feel like i might be wasting resources at the same time if i just delete like absolutely everything so we're gonna go check out the cave now i was thinking we could take i'm we want to take a creature oh yeah i we're gonna go check out a cave now uh i forgot uh to mention that part i think uh we're it, it the cave that we're gonna check out is latitude uh 30 let's see um 37 and longitude 33 so it's around up up in the top west right there northwest uh which is where we're at we're like in the north middle right now uh so we just need to go over to uh wherever the ocean is right here we just need to go over to the left and it, it should be over there next to that snow mountain or whatever um so we're going to go check that out. We haven't checked out a cave yet. Someone actually mentioned it, uh, which is what gave me the idea to go check it out. I was thinking, let's take this guy. Prob oh, he doesn't have a saddle, does he? Uh, actually, we could take Seismic, maybe. Yeah, let's see. What? How much health do you have? 48,000? Yeah, we'll take you. We'll take you, buddy. Um, now, we could take the... I mean, there is the other Dodic right here, but I figure let's just uh, take this guy. I still want to get, like, an Ice Dodic. Uh, is he... He's not going to let me get up here, are you? No, you're not. Okay, so let's go ahead and repark this guy. Let's get on him. As you see, I've, like, removed everything. Uh, and it's so much better, too. Like, I mean, it's not quite as good as I want it. Also, I removed these front two just because his head always gets in the way. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get off of this guy. Uh, let me... Let me... Okay, I need to actually move him. I want to check out this mini industrial forge, and that way we can start smelting things. Oh, yeah, it's not that big. It's not that big. Is this the middle? Yeah, this is the middle. Uh, let's just make one side here, uh, because since we, we're not going to do the whole room thing anymore, let's just make one side like this. Yeah, let's just... Boom. Done. So, mini industrial forge. Awesome. Okay, this is actually really good. I'm actually kind of curious how fast this stuff smelts. Maybe we should go grab... Go ahead and grab. We'll grab... 
uh, 800 mil, sure. And then I will meet you guys at the cave. He's completely filled, isn't he? Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You guys probably want to actually see the stats in this guy, too, the final stats. So he has 36,000 health, uh, 4,000 stamina, 26,000 food, 2,500 2, 5, weight, 488% melee damage, 100%, 130% movement speed. So, yeah, this guy is not bad. Uh, he is snow, so he's kind of meant for speed. Also, you know, he does a lot of damage, stuff like that. Uh, he has a lot of health, but he's meant for speed since he's the snow badass, which is, uh, which is pretty cool so yeah he has some good stats we'll probably play around with them maybe at the end of the episode or maybe next episode i think that would be a pretty cool idea uh i am excited about the cave i want to i i'm not really sure if the caves have like spawns of the their own maybe certain caves do maybe certain caves don't i'm not 100 percent sure uh, we're gonna check that out also uh let's go ahead and stick some metal in this guy uh, i want to go ahead and try out the metal let me grab the metal off of him boom uh, boom, boom, there we go. And let's come over here. Uh, let's just go ahead and throw all the metal in this guy. Let's turn on and see how fast it is. Mini refining forge. Yes. Yeah, so hopefully this guy is actually pretty fast. I think it's going to work. This is going to be a lot better than the other one because we do have gasoline. And gasoline lasts a lot longer than uh, wood. And we don't have to worry about charcoal and stuff. So we can just, like, put massive amounts of metal in here. And I want to get about three of them probably. Three would be good. And then we can go mining, uh, stick all the metal on top in this guy. And then any leftover metal in one of these guys. And then uh, just kind of smell as we're mining, which I think is a you know pretty efficient, pretty good thing. 15 at a time. This is definitely better. This is definitely actually. I'm just gonna keep that on. Okay, so I'm gonna meet you guys at the the cave if I can find it. Hopefully. Okay, guys, we're back. So our quest is on the ground over on that mountain. It's actually not on that mountain on the map. It is over here on this mountain. So if you find this water channel, uh, it's over this way. So it's a little bit more uh, towards the center of the island. Uh, so yeah, let's I think this is it anyways. Let's go ahead and head in here and apparently this place is Massive also. I saw I've seen some other massive caves in this that look look really really cool uh, So yeah, this is definitely big enough to bring uh, almost any dinosaur in it and it actually looks really really cool This might be a cool place to make a home to be honest. Uh, this place looks awesome and it has a, like a little water cave entrance and it looks like there's no dinosaurs here either so it might be like reasonably safe to just like park everything in here yeah so this is the cave i guess there's nothing else in here uh, apparently there's an underwater part so maybe i don't know if this is the same cave there's an underwater part uh so maybe there's like a way to navigate through it this isn't everything i'm not a hundred percent sure if this is even the right cave to be honest but you know what it's uh it looks pretty cool anyways uh, i do know that there's another one that's like kind of like this but it's like all land underneath um the, a mountain like this so uh there's definitely multiple massive caves i'm pretty sure uh, so I don't really so there's crystal right yeah there's crystal so you can find crystal I think metal uh, some bushes and stuff like that the only thing it's really lacking is wood uh, but I don't, I don't know like where any like like underground trees would grow or anything so uh, maybe there's specifically types of underground trees or something uh, so yeah, this this is cool. It's it's a little underwhelming from what I expected. I was expecting like a normal cave system kind of like with enemies and stuff. This is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. You get one heck of it. No, this is the same cave I saw. So yeah, maybe this is the giant underwater cave I've seen because it has all these upper platforms with uh, grass and stuff like that, like for nice little places to build. This cave definitely looks really really cool. Um, Let's uh, but there's no enemies in it. I was hoping they could fight like spiders and stuff like that. Maybe there's other caves that are like, yeah. So here's the caves. There's a mountain cave, a small cave. Unfortunately, nothing we found in it. Under mountain cave, which is where we're at. It's a massive cave where you can find crystal stone, trees, bushes, and water. So I guess, oh yeah, these are trees right here. Uh, underground cave, a small cave that is filled with water and has two entrances. And there's a floating island cave. There's there's a lake just at the entrance of the cave. So I guess. And then there's like smaller caves, like um, underwater cave, small waterfall cave. I've found a few of those. So it looks like this is really like the biggest cave with stuff in it. Um, yeah, look at all these like upper levels and stuff. This is crazy. Oh yeah, this is like a super flat area right here up here. That's crazy. Um, you could like this place is really big. Holy crap! 
Okay, guys, so apparently I got the two caves uh, mixed up. I thought uh, the one down on the page here was like a more explanation, but it's not. So uh, the big cave under the mountain, is that's, that's exactly what it's supposed to be. There's no underwater parts. There's actually an underwater cave of 5654, which is over there on that island in the middle of the ocean, or I guess uh, the sea or whatever that could be classified as. Uh, we're going to head over there without dying. Okay, I might die. Yeah, getting good, baby. I should have actually jumped, actually. That probably would have been way faster. Uh, we are almost there, and then I think the island is just over here. Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and jump. Dude, the frog has mad hops. He has mad hops. It's crazy. Um, and this is uh, this is the big deep hole cave that I was talking about before. I think this is it right here. Yeah, this is it right here. Uh, I'm not sure where that one entrance is, uh, the big hole uh, filled with water is, but I think this is... The other entrance, so I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, I think I can see the cave right there, which is actually pretty convenient. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're going to ch uh, check it out, see what's inside, and hopefully it's actually pretty cool. I don't know if it's going to be big or kind of like small, like the normal caves. I have no idea. I haven't explored it yet. I've been wanting to explore it, but that's definitely not a thing at the moment. Uh, oh yeah, no, this is it, because we go in here, and then the hole is inside of this part. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, right here. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, and then this just goes... Oh, wait. Before we go down, uh, let me go ahead. Oh, wow. I'm getting 60 frames right now, which is good. Um, except for I keep freezing. I really need to do the fix where it gets rid of all the snakes. I don't know if that will also get rid of all the fish because there's thousands of fish. And then there's also, like, thousands of uh, bugs and stuff everywhere. So, yeah. Look at this, guys. Oh, wow. This is crazy. Okay. So we're in a huge, deep underwater cave. This is nuts. This is really cool. I like this cave. Uh, and apparently there's a lot of sil silica pearls and stuff around here. I think that's one right there. Maybe. Yeah, that's silica pearls. Uh, so we might come here for sil silica pearls because it looks like there's no enemies in here either. Uh, is this going to render? Okay, there we go. Uh, then I guess let's go up inside. Is this just... Oh, this this is it. Okay, so that's the cave. Okay. Uh, that's, that's a little confusing. I thought there would be more to it. Um, okay, so this is the water cave entrance. And then does it not branch anywhere? I figured it would, like, branch somewhere. I mean, it's still really cool. Um, but it's just a little weird at the same time, <laughs> if that makes any sense. No, it doesn't go anywhere, I don't think. I'm also lagging, so it's kind of hard to tell. But no, I don't think it, this actually goes anywhere. Um... But yeah, this is a. If we ever need pearls, I guess this is would be a good place to check out. I, I've been curious about this hole right here for a long time, so it's kind of cool to actually finally see uh, what's in it and what's it what it's about and stuff. Uh, is this just? Yeah, that's just water right there. Uh, okay, cool, awesome. Uh, well, guys, the thing I want to do is I, I might just go ahead and call it there. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to go and click the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Help me out tremendously. Also, we need names for uh, the Spino. So, yeah, help me come up with some names. Love your faces, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, guys, uh, this is the first badass raptor I've ever seen. I've seen lots of alpha raptors, but never a badass raptor. So I figured I'd go ahead and add this to the end of the video here. Uh, we're going to, uh, I guess, tame it. So let me knock this guy out. I'm going to slowly hit him. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully we can knock him out. So I'm not trying to murder his face off, but, you know, maybe, maybe a little bit of, uh, a little bit of, uh, you know, some knocking him out. He's not really doing that much damage to me, which is kind of surprising. Oh, he's running away. He's running away. Okay. Hey, hey, bro, 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 bro. Hey, come back. Come back. Yes. No, I don't want you to run away. I just want... Oh, okay. Yes, we have knocked him out. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, this is awesome. This is cool. This is, uh, how was it? Is it a control click? Yeah, control click. Okay, so I, I figured it out. Uh, and then we have a Utah Raptor. We will check the stats on this guy next time, but he is absolutely massive. Look, badass. He's level 360. Uh, nice, guys. Nice. He might be cool as just like, um, just to ride around and kill stuff. I, I haven't actually tamed any sort of raptor yet, so this is really cool. And it was pretty close to home. I'm making my way back from the underwater cave, which was like all the way across the map, which is absolutely ridiculous. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It might, it's probably going to be up a little bit late today, um, just because it takes me like four hours to record this video. Uh, smelting all that stuff and all the and taking apart all the things and doing all that kind of stuff is taking me a while. Plus, I've done quite a bit of exploring as well. Every episode. I explore a lot, like a, a, a real lot. 
Um, and dude, this guy is so freaking crazy when he jumps. Um, but anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.